Um, and, and let's get into some of these round two guys um, that we think are a huge value right now. To me, above and beyond, you know, head and shoulders above uh, everybody else in round two is Josh Jacobs. Um, if you haven't been to our website yet, the fantasy football sackos.com, I did a, a write up on why Josh Jacobs is going to be the ultimate draft value this season. If his current 24th overall ADP holds, it's just extreme value for somebody that I think has like easily top 10 running back potential, if not top six. Um, he's come out and said that his goal is to get 60 receptions this season. I, I think it's totally doable personally. Um, I'm really excited to see what he puts together. I mean, uh, he was on pace. I mean, he played half of his games with a fractured shoulder. He was on pace. If he played all 16 games, he was on pace for more than, um, what was it 13 or 1400 yards? And the only two running backs that got that amount last year, uh, were what one was Derek Henry. Like, I mean, it's just unbelievable. The type of production that he was, uh, I think, you know, I think it was him and Nick Chubb, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so it was him and Chubb. And so, I mean, he was third in the league in breakaway runs and he only played in 13 games. He was ninth in the league in yards created. He created 400 more than 450 yards on his own. Um, he was eighth and broken tackle. Like he's top 10 in all of these characters and he, or uh, top 10 in all of these categories. And he played half of his games with a broken freaking shoulder. Like you gotta be kidding me. And now, yeah. and, and then you lose, you lose Deion Washington to Kansas city. I'm just, I am so high on Josh Jacobs. Like, and we talked about it a little bit in the last episode or when we, when we were mocking, if if I have like one of the top four or five picks, like I'm not going to take Josh Jacobs there, obviously, like I'm going to take, you know, any one of the top consensus four to five running backs. But if I, if I can get Josh Jacobs in round two, oh, my goodness, look out for that team. Yeah. And the, the people that are going in front of him. So the other running backs currently on ESPN from an ADP perspective, uh, Nick Chubb is the, is 15th. Uh, Aaron Jones is 17th. Yeah. Miles Sanders, who's now hurt, is 18th. And I'm guessing that'll drop a little bit. Kenyon I mean, Drake Chubb's is concussed right now. Yep. Yeah, Kenyon Drake is 19th. Uh, Austin Eckler is 22nd. And Josh Jacobs is 24th. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you like Josh Jacobs more than all of those guys. You know, yeah. if, if, like, if, if you're looking for more like specific details on some of these guys, like, please check out our, um, our archives for some of our positional rankings because we kind of go a lot more in depth than we're planning on going to today. But it's just like Nick Chubb. Uh, Kareem Hunt is basically the same player and you can get him a bunch of rounds later. Aaron Jones, we've talked about touchdown dependency. And I mean, my God, have you seen AJ Dillon's legs? They're oh like, my God, Quadzilla, man. Like They are tree stalks. If you hey. think Aaron Jones is going to get the goal line carries, sweetheart, you got another thing coming. Like, ooh, yeah. bless your not, heart, man. Aaron Jones will still be on the field, though, I think. Especially with yeah. uh, maybe if Devante can't stay healthy and he got had a tweak yesterday and missed practice today. So right. we, we might Ken, be seeing Aaron Jones, the receiver. Kenyon Drake is fine. I'm not as high on him as you are. Um, but I, I still think the middle of the second round value is, is pretty solid for him. Extreme. Actually. Yeah, it's, it's good. Um, Austin Eckler going at 22nd. We've talked about how potentially if those receptions do stay up, you know, I, I think this is fine value for him actually at the end of the second round, not in the first round where, you know, or end of the first round, beginning of the second round. But if you can get him towards the end of the second round, like you're doing really well. So, um, yeah, just like clearly Josh Jacobs is is the, the guy there. Um, but like Mahomes is going 13th in drafts. Like that's that's insane. And his and yeah, way ADP too of 13th and Lamar's going at 14. Like, oh, uh. Yeah, that's that's too high. Um, but other than that, like, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of digging digging the second round, especially 
the back half of the second round where George Kittle's sitting there, um, you know, after talking through our tight ends, I th- think we might have both moved Kittle up to the number one tight end spot over Kelsey, especially with Debo Samuel not being uh, around the first uh, six to eight weeks. Uh, like yeah, he's right. the number one wide receiver in that offense. Um, so I, like the back half of the second round, 22 is Eckler. 23 is Kittle, 24 is Jacobs. Like if like you're looking at those three guys plus uh, CMC, Saquon or Zeke, like, oh, my God, like you're, you're off to a good start. Yeah, absolutely. And if you're looking for a wide receiver, want, like I love Godwin's current value there, too. Like that's that's very nice at, mm-hmm. at 20th. Um, all right. Um, so yeah, my second, I mean, my second round target is Josh Jacobs. Like, honestly, I'm probably going to draft him at the, in the back half of the first, if I'm drafting there, but in case I'm drafting top five or six overall, like I think my, my second round target is Josh Jacobs followed by maybe Lamar, but yep. 